Our next guest earned a degree in English, and then he began a career as a serious songwriter. That's why he's now in comedy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tim Wilson. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tom, and you started out in acting, and now you're hosting, so. <laughs> hey, you gotta get people back. How are you tonight? Well, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> hope, you had a, hope you had a nice Easter and Passover if you're Jewish, and hope you had a nice average week for all you atheists, because I know we've got to respect your right to burn in hell. <laughs> oh, don't feel sorry for the atheists now. I always wonder, what do atheists hunt for on Halloween, or Halloween, Easter? What do atheists hunt for on Easter? A place to hide? <laughs> I always love coming on television and laughing at atheists, you know? Agnostics always bother me. They're like, well, we kind of believe, but we kind of don't. Well, we kind of do, but we kind of don't. And I'm like, well, that's what Peter's going to say when you're at the pearly gates. He's going, well, we kind of want you, but well, we kind of don't. You know? <laughs> Have a round of applause for Easter. Thank you very much. I had kind of a weird Easter this year, boy. I don't know, I, I wound up, I want to say hello to Pete and Brian, a couple of friends of mine. We wound up in their yard half the day shooting the, the ears off a chocolate rabbit with a 12-gauge shotgun. <laughs> you know you've lost the feel for Easter when you're standing there with a Remington pump in a straw basket, throwing them up going, pull, pull. <laughs> Something just ain't right about that. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, considering it's egg week, I just want to throw in this little egg story. This is true. It really happened to me. I stopped at a place called Huddle House, which I hope they're not a sponsor. <laughs> stopped at Huddle House. Y'all know Huddle House? Not a, not a bad place, Huddle House. You're not quite good enough to be at Waffle House. You're at Huddle House, you know? <laughs> and the waitress walks over and says, well, what y'all want this morning? I said, I think I'll take me some breakfast. She goes, well, what do you want? I said, well, I think I'll take some eggs. She said, well, do you want regular eggs or do you want egg substitute? I said, well, I think I'll try some of that egg substitute. She said, well, how do you want that cooked? I said, boiled. <laughs> I want to see what kind of shell this comes in. <laughs> it's a scary world. Well, well, folks, I'll play you a song here. I'll guarantee you, if you, if you fill out your ballots, go ahead and fill it out, bet your money, because I guarantee you this song is going to win Song of the Year, CMA Awards, 1996, and I wrote it. This is a guarantee. This is the stupidest song ever written. <laughs> George Bush, George Burns, George Jones, George Benson, George C. Scott, George Reeves, George Wallace, George Hallis, George Washington, George Washington Carver, George Jefferson, George Jetson, George Picard, George Harrison. George by George, George of the jungle, George Strait, Chris, George, Linda Day, George, George Patton, Phyllis, George, George Custer, George McClellan, George Foster, George Martin, George Thurgood, George Carlin, George Hamilton, George Raff, George Jessel, Tallulah Gorge, Susan, George, Curious, George, Georgie, Porgy, George Clinton, George Siegel, George McGovern, Jeff, George, George Lindsay, George Stanford Brown, George Lucas, George McRae, George Schultz, George Mikan, Gorgeous George, Gorgeous George Jr., everybody! George Orwell, George Wimp, Tom Wolfhead, George Gobo, George Michael, George Foreman, George, a guy I used to go to high school with, Georgetown, George Naismith, George Will, George Montgomery, George Steinbrenner, Georgie Fame, George from Mice and Men, George Allen, George Rogers, George Gilt the Gipper, George Gershwin, George Gervin, Machine Gun Kelly, his name was George, George Zaharius, George Kennedy, George Brett, George Mitchell, George Stephanopoulos, Chief Dan George, George Blanda, George Clinton, George McGinnis, George Rogers Clark, George Bernard Shaw, George Seifert, Eddie George, George the Animal Steel, George Pappas the Bowler. 
And for all you party animals, George Dickel. <laughs> and George is on my mind. <laughs> Thank you very much, folks. God bless you. <laughs> it was weird. What do I do with it? Give me that. You take that. I'll take that. I'll sit here. You know, you sit down here where you're supposed to. Right here. Right here. There you go. Tim Wilson, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. George. <laughs> That's probably your real name, right? Now, uh, the George song, I came up with that. We, me and uh, Sandy Pinkard and Richard Bowden used to write songs a lot. We're sitting around in the Spence Manor one day writing songs, and I'm tuning my guitar, and I went, George Jones, because we all want to sound like George Jones. Yeah? Right. George Jones. And I said, you know, we ought to make a song where we put, like, 85 guys named George back to back. And they said, no, we're not. that's not a good idea. So I went and did it myself. <laughs> I'm on television now, and they're sitting home. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Too funny. English degree. What'd you do with an English degree? Does it? Uh, fold I didn't, I didn't do much with an English degree. I was, uh, you have to be a professional English person to butcher the language as well as I do, Tom. Oh yeah. But um, I actually kind of I took English because I couldn't think of anything else. My football coach was an English major, and I ended up with this pro this one English professor. S. Allen King was the meanest man that ever lived, I guess, was, was my English professor. He reminded me of Struther Martin from Cool Hand Luke. Remember him? What we have here. What we have. You're going to have to get your mind right. <laughs> and I do mean right. We'd have like 150 grammar sentences. I'd show up for class. We'd, we'd walk in, the bell would ring. He'd go, Mr. Wilson, number one. And I'd do it. Mr. Wilson, number two. I'd do it. And we'd just keep going till the end of the class. The bell rang, and I kept going the whole class. So. Okay, had he picked on you. Failure to communicate, me and him. <laughs> but I was, I'm, I'm, I'm technically qualified to teach your children grammar. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sorry world, isn't it? I like it. I like it. <laughs> how, much, how much do you use, you know, the, the southern influence in your humor? I mean, do you, do you think that really defines what you do? Well, Does it, it give you a certain amount of latitude? Well, we're getting kind of analytical about comedy here. It, it sorry, defines me <laughs> to most people because, you know, obviously I have a very thick southern accent. and uh, I don't know. I mean, I could talk about anything and it sounds southern. You know what I mean? Right. I could talk about... I always tell people I could talk, like, talk about the 57 Senate hearings and it would sound like a, a, com a southern comedy bit. So. <laughs> but um, some people think you might can get away with more being a southerner. A lot of times I think it, it hinders you a little bit because yeah. there's, you know, some topics that are just... When you're a southerner, people don't cut you a lot of slack. I don't know, you know? Well, it's like, they, they, for some reason, there's a certain... Uh, they tend to question intelligence a little bit once in a while. When well, you're coming I don't, out I don't worry about intelligence questions. Mine has been questioned long ago. And, <laughs> and, and I got over that, but... Um, I don't know. That's a hard question. Well, then we'll figure out. I'm not intelligent enough to answer that question, <laughs> no. But you've got a degree. Yeah, I got a... I got a uh, a degree. I was I'm the only guy that ever made. Out, man. Uh, well, you dropped. I was the only guy that ever made two D's in his major and still got through. So, <laughs> so I was I was home writing uh, intelligent songs like the George song. And, there you go. Uh, great ones like Acid Country. Oh, hey, hey, hey! Tell me about uh, the, you got a charity golf tournament coming up. Yeah, I think in about two weeks I'm going to play in a thing called the uh, it's the Ronald McDonald House charity. It's putting uh -huh. on. A, a show down in Columbus, Georgia, and I finished doing a week in a theater there this past weekend, and we're going to do it is again that, in two weeks. Is that your hometown? Yeah, that's my hometown. Uh -huh. Columbus, Georgia, which is... Hey. Thank you very much. Which is uh, where Coca-Cola was originally invented in Columbus, Georgia, 1886. And Dr. John Pemberton started out putting... I don't want to talk about it, but started out putting cocaine in the Coca-Cola. Had a little snap to it, is, didn't it? Yeah. Well, they started putting straws in the top of the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, but yeah, we'll be down there in two weeks doing that. I'm going to be in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina tomorrow night. And uh, it's Tuesday and Wednesday night at the Comedy Cabana down there. I want to get my plug in. you got to so, get that in. So we'll be there tomorrow night. And if you're in Myrtle Beach, come see us. If you all go into Myrtle Beach, let's just get in the car and we'll all go together. That's right. He'll sing the George song the whole way, too. <laughs>
I'm thinking about writing a song about the amendments. Yeah. <laughs> like the first through the, how many amendments are there? 24. 24. I think Something about writing like a song called the amendment song. So if, if y'all hear it, or you hear it from somebody else, you know they stole it from me. So I can see you people just ready to go out and buy that record. You know what I mean? Well, you do have a CD you're working on, a, a new one coming out. Yeah, I've got. I put out three albums over uh, since about 1993, and A and M Records just mm -hmm. bought our comp, and we're gonna make a compilation that we'll have out probably the end of August, first of September, and then. I've got another one that I'm working on. We hope we'll have out the first of the year, all new stuff. Well, that's great. We'll get out there and make sure we find it. Mr. Tim Wilson, you Good betcha. Good to see you again, Tom. It's always a pleasure, young man. George Jones, George <laughs> Jessel, George Steinbrenner. Stick around. Mark Colley's going to sing for us right after this. I don't think the song has George in it. Getting headaches at night was bad enough.